morning everyone it is time to do the next pattern I'm going to do this one called dark base nobody has a video on it yet it's a good base pattern for the middle of a mandala so that's what I'm going to um, play with today it's a very simple pattern so then we're going to start with a cross an X Coming up from that X, we're going to make this kind of a loopy petal type shape. It's going to be wide here, coming down to a point there in the middle. And then we're just going to go around and making that same exact shape here and then back the other way. Okay, do you see it? Here's that first one we made. Second one's going to come back the other direction. So that it kind of make like a heart. It's almost a heart with a, a rice shape in the middle. But you draw it by just doing this shape. Does that make sense? And that's all it is. Basically it's this one shape drawn, mirror imaged all the way around. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then from that base shape, we can then expand, we can uh, fill in with different variations, um, we can color, whatever you want to do from that base shape. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn on my light, so I'll get rid of that shadow. Look at there, light is very important. Um, let's do, what color should we pick? I picked I grabbed a few. I think I think I'm gonna go with the light colored one. No. Maybe the blue. What are the other patterns I picked for this week? That one and that one. Um yeah, let's do the blue. No. Oh, I'm gonna do this one. I want to save the blue for Friday. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm a little close. Okay, that's good. I'm a little off somehow. Okay, that's better. So what I want to do is I'm going to just find the middle of my page. So I'm kind of centered. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but I want to be somewhat centered. I'm just going to take my pencil and just draw from corner to corner and that will find my middle and I can just use this or I can make this this direction And I think in true mandala style, I think I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle in the middle there with my Helix Circle Maker. I'm going to put the zero right there in the middle. And then I'm going to draw a circle about this big, I think. Come on. Sometimes the circle maker gets a little sticky. Come on. All the way around. Okay, close enough. Gives me a, a guide. It's actually almost too dark, but that's okay. I can I can lighten it up with a with my eraser. Just lighten that up a bit. So I think that's what I want to do where my loops are going to go. 
think that's good. I might actually go up a little bit higher than that, but that gives me a an idea of where I want to bring that shape. Let's just start. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So I want it to come up from here. Oh, the 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 original pattern has it has you drawing this part, I guess I should draw that part. Like that. Okay, there's my cross. And then you come up. Oop. And in like that. Up. And in like that. I haven't drawn much the last few days. I'm a little, I'm a little woggly. Interesting. That's better. You don't practice. You do lose it. And then I'm going to come up and go the other way with this shape. Come up and go the other way with that shape. And that's the base for that pattern. I, I didn't quite touch right here, but that's okay. I'm, I'm good with that. And then we can just build and create some sort of, I mean, that's it. That's the end of this pattern. So if you wanted to stop right here, you could do that. You can make multiples of these particular shapes all over your page. I'm going to start with this as the base to a mandala so I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna increase my line weight right there I'm gonna I'm gonna come back with my bigger pen and fill that in that would be easier than trying to do it with this little pen. But I'm going to do a little pen in this inside part. If you guys can hear my heater. I actually had to turn the heater on today. Oh, that's the wrong angle. Oh well. It's been a while since I've drawn. Life life has happened. I usually I would have normally drawn last week sometime. But I didn't. So it's been a good, a good week. Maybe two. No, hasn't been two. I don't usually go two weeks, but it's been a good full week since I've picked up a pen. I feel a little, a little rusty. To be honest. Um, where's my bigger pen? I've lost it. There it is. We 
are almost ready for the wedding. We got all the last minute uh, decorations that we can create. Everything that we are creating done. Um, they've got the cake ordered. They've got the cupcakes ordered. They've got... I created the card box and so Saturday will be a busy day. We will get up and have breakfast and just get to the church, do the full on decorating. Um, I have the honor of becoming their official photographer. So I'm going to get the family photos done. And I do my best to remember to take extra, take my extra battery just in case. Take an extra SD card just in case. And, uh, yeah, I think it will be a really, it'll be a long and exhausting week because I've got work and I'm working on Thanksgiving. Uh, it's just going to be a busy, busy, you know, because the Black Friday ad starts on Thanksgiving Day, so it's going to be just a busy day. But other than that, um, I think we're going to have everything will be fine. It will all turn out perfect, just the way it's supposed to be. At the end of the day, if if at the end of that day the two of them are married that is the really the only important part right I think I'm going to do I want another I want another guideline for my circle. Let me bring my circle maker back in play here. Put that right in the middle. And I want a circle about here, I think. And then I think I want another one way at the end. Like that. What's all over my circle maker? don't know. Something clear and glossy. Hmm. I don't know. Must have got it in a blob of paint. <sighs> okay, that's good. I think I think I'm going to want to divide this again. Just gonna eyeball it. At approximately half. I might not be at half, but I'm gonna just eyeball it. It's gonna be close enough. considered. Um, let's do, let's do a, from here, 
here. I'm going to go from here. I didn't come all the way down to my petal. I'm going to go from here to here with a bracket like shape like that. Or a lotus petal like shape. Some of you may know I've been inspired and following Julie Gibbons Mandela Magic uh, free course. She has a five day free course um, at about this time of the year. The course is over. Today, I think today was the last day. What was it yesterday? I got the email. Anyway, I got the email for the last day's class. But I'm very inspired by her and her work. So, um, I think I want to do three circles coming outward. I'm not really following any sort of pattern per se other than just doing the same thing once I decide on an element that I want to add I'm just adding it all the way around to make it symmetrical Really that's all a mandala is, is, is artwork in the round. And I think I want to do Is that I don't know it's just a shape that I thought would look pretty <coughs> excuse me for my cough well, that's interesting okay and then I think I want to come down this side but I don't want it to be exactly the same so I think I'm going to go
all of that in. color those into leaving just a little little dot of white like that yep Sorry, got a little notification. I had to read that. Let's see, what else can we talk about? topic of conversation today. Sometimes I do. Well, I want to thank those of you who uh, have clicked on my merchandise links. That's very helpful. So even if you don't buy anything um, from Amazon, uh, any of the items that I've linked, if you happen to go to Amazon using those links and then buy something else, uh, I still get credit for um, your purchase. So I want to thank you for that. So that's one way you can support your local social media person that you follow, your YouTuber or any other Instagram, whatever. If they have Amazon affiliate links, even if you're not going to buy their product that they're recommending, um, but you plan on shopping on Amazon, especially right now with Christmas and everything, um, if you use their link, um, they still get a small portion, a percentage. It's kind of, it's almost like a finder's fee from Amazon. They give you a little bit of thing to direct traffic to them. So, um, if you're planning on doing shopping, I would appreciate it if you'd use the one of those links in the description below to get to Amazon, and that way I will get some credits. I appreciate it. Um, what do I want to do? I'm feeling like it needs a, a swirl. To get working on my Christmas card letters. Gosh, it's that time of year already. I can't believe it. It's gone so fast. 
that I need to need to work on my little family newsletter that I create. Not that with social media, not that that so many people don't know what's going on in your life anymore. You know, it used to be nobody heard from you for all year long and then then you go you know, you sent out a family Christmas newsletter. But now with social media, you really don't need to do that. People know what you're up to. But I have a, do have a few. Not very many, but there's a select few of family members that are not social media. They don't really get on their computer and do anything. Some of them don't even have computers. And uh, and that's how they know what's going on in our lives. I want to do, what else do I want to do? I'm kind of liking this just as it is. I'm, I want a little bit more line weight for these little loopy bits. And I think I'm done. I might add some color, I don't know. Yeah, that's better. It was needing a little line weight. So what am I going to put in my newsletter? A lot of travel this year. A lot of travel this year. And we finally finished the house project. Got the front yard completed last year. At this time we had announced that we got the backyard finished. Now this year we've got the front yard finished. I'm so excited that that's done. Um, but I was I was making a making a little door decoration for our our next cruise um, for myself and for um, our friends that are going with us and I was putting like the history my history of cruising on Carnival Cruise Lines um, on this little decoration and our our cruises are slightly different because um, we've gone on more cruises than they have uh, overall but our carnival history has been pretty darn close to the same um, we'd actually uh, only had one carnival cruise prior to when we started cruising together um, and then they're going to have a cruise one uh, more than us going forward because we're not taking the back-to-back -back. we're only taking the the four-day um, because there is no way I can take 10 days off in December they uh, my manager already kind of went you asked for vacation in December in December I asked for it two years ago and they approved it so who approved that well manager two managers ago who approved it that's who so yeah I like that I think I'm gonna leave it just like that but no I want I want more lines in here I want it to be a little more. So I'm adding one, two, three. Okay. One. But anyway, uh, I didn't really, I guess I didn't really realize how many cruises we've got this year. We usually 
we have been cruising every other year and then we started cruising every year and this year we actually had four cruises i can't believe that that's ridiculous so next year i don't think we're cruising at all and then we're going to cruise in 2021 My nephew's going to get married in 2021. We're waiting for them to at least come up with a date and a location. Um, don't know if it's going to be here on the West Coast because that's where his family's from or if it's going to be over on the East Coast because that's where her family's from. They're currently living on the East Coast, so my guess would be that the wedding would be on the East Coast, but, you know... But, and who knows, because they met on a cruise, so maybe they're going to be doing a cruise wedding. I, I don't know. But our plan is, once we know where the nephew is getting married, then we will uh, plan a vacation cruise around the wedding. Since we're going to have to, especially if we have to travel to the East Coast. If I'm going all the way over to the East Coast for one or two days for a wedding. I'm getting on a cruise ship. That's the plan. I like this. I like how it's turned out. So until then, we can't really make any long-term planning. Let me erase all these lines. And then I can decide if I want to color or not. Color or do I just want a shade? That I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm really feeling like I want to leave it just like that. I don't even want to sh shade. I don't even want shadows today. I want it just that, like that, just, just the way it is. So this was called Dark Base. dark base just like that looks good I, I like it I could I could color I could add uh, shading to that but I'm really just feeling like it's done like it wants to be finished just the way it is so I'm happy all right you guys have a great day go out and do something nice for someone today make the world a better place one person at a time and I will see you on the next video we're gonna do a complicated one it actually probably isn't as complicated as it looks but it's Cajas de Llaves I think it's gonna be fun all right you guys have a great day I will see you later bye bye